morning how is everybody uh, today I want to show you some of my new um, 3d printed cross stitch accessories um, this is a five thread keeper it, it has six little holes but it if you wrap your thread it only holds five but um, I'm gonna have that in multiple colors. Right now I got it in clear and purple. Um, and these are called, these are kind of like, a lot of people call them thread drops, floss drops, bobbins, um, all kinds of stuff. I made these, or my husband designed these with the intent to be able to put them on your um, metal rings that a lot of um, cross stitchers use. And I had it intended to put this on the metal ring, put this a little piece of floss, if you bobbinate, put a little piece of user, using floss right here, like one little section of floss right here. And then if you like to hang your floss, loop that through here. And another thing, if you bobbinate, you can start it here, bobbinate the thread, and then close it off over here. I'm going to show you all some examples that I've used in my own cross stitch box. But I really like these. And what I'm doing now is I'm hanging my floss because I think you all know it's easier to pull your thread out if you hang your floss. Um, all I have right now at the moment is DMC. I don't have any fancy flosses, but I'm hoping that this is the same length as the fancy floss, um, classic color works. And that you could just loop this up there, put your thread through here, and it'll reinforce that little piece of cardboard. But I don't have any fancy floss yet to experiment with, so I'm going to order some. But right now I want to show you some of the ways I've used this and then I want to show you something else we've been working on that I'm not sure if we're going to release or if we're going to continue work on them or not. So um, this is the colors I have available right now in the shop. I think I got some more listed on the, the store page. I'm going to move that over the side. And I'm going to show you, these are the old, this is the old bobbin box that I took my DMC floss off of. And this is the old bobbin as opposed to my new bobbin. As you can see, there's a big difference. You could, you could do your thread right there, but look how short that thing is. There's really nowhere to put your DMC numbers except for right DMC right there and put your number right there with a sticker. That's about the only option you have. So this box, you'll see that these things do not fit in your standard thread box. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I found my new jobby. I don't have a name for them yet. I don't name all my inanimate objects. Just some things. I gotta try to get this in the camera. As you can see, these are my DMCs on my new thread holders or thread drops. If you go, come to the side right here, you can see the DMC number and they're all in color order. Yes, this is all I have in my collection so far. This I'm not too fond of. I think I'm going to clean that up a little bit for the camera because that's, I'm not too fond of that. These are the extras. I'm trying to do all mine in clear. These are, this is kitted up for a uh, project. I want to show you this. Here's my metal hook, loop, metal ring, I guess you call it. Here's my DMC numbers for that project. I wrote on these with a um, Sharpie marker. So there's plenty of room to write. 
Um, if you don't want to wrap and bobbinate afterwards, you could actually put the color here. So you could like do classic color works or CCW and then actually write the word of what the classic color works is or like um, grasshopper, grass hyphen hopper or something like that. But I like to take this thread after I'm done with this piece and just kind of wrap it around for storage purposes and then pull it into this hole right here. I'm not on camera for that, am I? I'm pull it into that hole. And maybe clean it up a little bit, I'm not sure yet. But then I, and then I put it into my box in number order. So as you can see, my collection is growing. But while I'm working, I like to leave it unbobbinated. And I don't know if you guys have seen that little YouTube snippet, but whoever taught me this was a genius to take the thread right here and you take your needle and you stick your needle into that one of these threads right here. I think it's this working thread right here. Let me get focused. I think it's that working thread right there. You stick your needle in there. You pull out one thread and you pull and it just comes out. And it's ingenious. I mean, it changed the way I, I get my thread ready. It's amazing. I love it. So like I said, this is kitted up for a project. I have it laying in here. Uh, there's something else hiding down below here. This is another example of the five project um, thread bobbin. I guess we'll call it thread holder. Um, but I looped it here on the side and then I bobbinated it and then I, uh, what do you call it? Clove. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Um, tucked it in over here on the end to keep it from undoing. And then my husband thought this was really neat looking. This is not a lot of thread. This is not a whole skein of thread. This is about... You can see it's two, two strands of six threads. And they're about, a foot and a half long. And then I just cut them and I wrapped them for an example. And this bottom little thing is open. But I wanted you to see an example of how you could uh, kit up for a project and you just put like two two threads two lengths of thread which has six threads in each length on here you can undo the bobbin here and pull it down have it hanging and pull your thread off from one of these knots here from one of those knots there. Pull your thread off there. So that's another example of how to use the five bobbin. Um, I'm liking this right here because I can see all the numbers. And so when I want to kit up a project, you'll see that this box is gonna grow. This is from Hobby Lobby, this box. Um, it has these little separators in it and they just go down in the middle here. I basically took a bobbin to Hobby Lobby and walked around the store till I found one that fit this box. So this is how I'm gonna bobbinate. I'm not gonna use uh, the DMC bobbins anymore. I'm gonna sell these 10 for $6.99, I think on my Etsy store, my Etsy stores, uh, Wilson 3D Designs .etsy .com. If you want to go over there and get you some, this box is called, like I said, it's a Hobby Lobby. It's called the 
macro macro dash meals let me try to get that on camera macro dash meals a Myers Industries company so if you see that at Hobby Lobby it's um it's a big one um it measure it measures pretty big but I have one more thing to show you. I was watching the Steel City, Steel City Stitchers, and they went to um, they went to StitchCon, which I was very jealous. All these people going to StitchCon because I wanted to go, but I couldn't go. And they came back. I guess no. I think they I think they received these in the mail. But what they received is a wood thread keeper with the word of their state on it and it had numbers by all the little holes so you could number your project um, I immediately had my husband try to design something like that on the 3d printer because I thought it would be um, more stable and it's it's rounded on the edges so there's no wood gonna give you splinters or anything um, I didn't do numbers and we're trying to work on how to put the words on here, Texas, but let me know what you think. Let me know if you use these kind of things to kit up your projects. Um, I had a few kits that had the thread with them and I could have put them on here and, or I could have put them on one of my thread keepers here. But if I had like 10, I'd need two of these or I could put them all in here. There's actually 20 holes on this state. And as we work on other state shapes, it's, it's on both sides. As we work on other state shapes, um, we'll try to put like 20 holes in those also. But let me know in the comments below if you think the states are cute, if you think they people would want them um, I think they're cute I like them I probably start them out at like $9.99 for each one and like I said I'm trying to get Texas on there either embossed either raised or sunken in and uh, so that's one of our projects we're working on right now so let me know in the comments down below um, I do not have a winner for the black um, giveaway set yet because I'm not at 300 likes and I'm not at 300 subscribers. So as long as those don't happen, uh, there'll be no winner. So help me out guys. I need some help getting some subscribers so I can get, do this giveaway. It's um, a whole set of black 3d printed items if you want to try to win in this video too you could just say I want these down below there's a black easy grip there's a black butterfly there's a black inchworm and they all go on the black silk pin display Just like this. I don't know about the easy grip. It could go in there, I guess. Huh? But um, all these are for 300 subscribers or 300 likes on a video. And you want to reply, I want these. And I'm basically, since I'm doing this drawing across three different videos, I'm basically taking everybody's name from the comments and putting it in a large bowl and gonna draw out like that because I can't do a random generator because it won't choose from three different videos it'll only choose from one so I'm gonna end this video now and uh, go down like and subscribe this video like and subscribe to my channel and try to win the black set again and i'll see y'all later have a great day